Yeah, 150th and 122nd. He's walking northbound. The sergeant drove down 152nd Street East to 122nd Avenue and found the man again, still walking in the middle of the roadway and impeding traffic. Hey! Stop! Police, you're under arrest. Turn around. Did you want him or priority? Uh, if you could have, yeah, priorities good for now. He's... The sergeant noticed the man had something in his hands and chose to wait for backup before attempting to contact him. Hey, get that thing out of your hand, dude. Hey, this is the police. You're under arrest. Just so everyone's tracking, he's got a something in his hand, like a screwdriver or something. He's taunting me, trying to get me to come up to him. You're under arrest, dude. I got some buddies coming. You're going to go to jail today. You need to drop whatever is in your hand. I can't hear you. You have to speak up, dude. I can't hear you. Announcements here for you. It might be a little loud behind it. Drop whatever's in your hand right now. Drop it. No. You're under arrest. For what? Drop it. For, what? for damaging cars. Get on the ground. Yo, no Get on the ground now. They Get on the ground. You. Get on the ground. You. Get on the ground. We'll this is going to hurt. Yeah, this is going to hurt. Man. Do it. I'll shoot, I'll shoot you. You understand that? Get on the ground, I'm gonna shoot you if you come at me. You need to drop whatever's in your hand, dude. Copy non-compliant with a taser. Yeah, we copy. Thanks, sir. Eastbound 145th. I'm going to tase you again, man. Get down. Yeah, but put on the gun. Do something. No, that's not how this works. You drop your weapon first. I'm not going to hold anyone. During this time, the man tossed a spent shell casing, which gave the sergeant even more reason to be cautious of this suspect. What is it? He just tossed a casing. He just tossed a casing out of his. Can you hear this? What? Don't shoot. Then drop on the drop the weapons. Get home. No. Yeah. That's not how this works. Hey. You are under arrest, dude. Yeah, for what? You are under arrest for, for damaging that person's car back there. They ran into me. Then why didn't you stop? Huh? Then why didn't you stop? What do you mean? Can you go taser again? Don't taser me. I'll, I'll drop all of these. Uh, I don't know. They're like some sort drop of needle things. In your hand now. Hey. You are under arrest and you're adding charges every second. Drop what's in your hand now. Hey, if I drop them, will you follow me home? Drop what's in your hand. Sure, I'll follow you home. Okay. You promise? Yeah, I'll follow you home. Let's go. Okay, you're under arrest. Roll him over. Roll him over. Roll over now. Give me this hand. He tossed the casing earlier, just so you know. Uh, give me that. I got this arm. I got this arm. Go to the other arm. Okay, one, four, five. I'll turn it we're gonna break your arm, dude. We're all set. Okay, just slide a little left. I got cuffs coming in. I've got right hand. Give me access. After taking him into custody, deputies were able to confirm with the victim the man was walking in the road, jumped in the air, and landed on the woman's windshield. He fell to the ground, got up, and continued walking down the road. I haven't done anything wrong. Seventy-five, one to change. Just let everybody down. Just let everybody down. Right here. 
Right here. here. Oh, yeah. I don't know what they are. That's what he was holding. One in each hand. Thanks to their patience, no one was hurt in this incident, and the suspect was booked for resisting arrest, malicious mischief, and assaulting a deputy. The deputies did a phenomenal job, again, using that patience, along with their negotiating skills, to get him to drop those potential weapons before he could use them on him. Outstanding job.